Okay, uh, let's go to Lori from Texas for Dr. Oz. Hey, Lori, what's your question? Hi, Andy, I love you and all things Bravo. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> hi, Dr. Oz, this question's for you. Since Bernie Sanders was on your show a few weeks ago before his heart attack, have you spoken to him since? And do you think he should take a pause from the campaign trail to recover? I don't think you should take a pause at all. You know, he had, he had a small heart attack, it seems. He was able to literally walk in the park a couple of days later. Uh, and I don't think for most people, even if they're 78, if they have a heart problem, they should pull back in life. Because and I've never told the patient ever in my life to pull back from doing what they want to do. Because if you lose your purpose, you lose everything. So wow. you should go full speed ahead, participate in the event. <laughs> hey, he guy's a world champion miler. He posted low playing basketball with me. He's got what it takes. Just keep going, Bernie. Uh, let's go to Nikki from California. Hey, Nikki, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Mazel. Mazel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dr. Oz. Love your show. And hi, Lorraine. My question is for Lorraine. Okay. <laughs> was it ever awkward between you and Edie Falco when you guys were competing against each other, you know, at the Emmys? And also, do you keep in touch with anybody from The Sopranos still? Yes, I keep in touch with, the, you know, a lot of the guys. Um, Edie's great. I thought, you know, I just said, well, I'll just be Cinderella's sister. So... <laughs> I was happy to be there. I was happy to enjoy the success of the show. You know, look, it is what it is. I'm very happy that, you know, I was part of it. You have the best attitude. I well, know. No, but you do. You do. What do you want? Yeah, but that's the right attitude. Uh, next.